Hey everyone, Ben Bellack here, Beverly Hills Super Realtor, and by popular demand, today we are going to do a drive-through tour of the flats of Beverly Hills, so buckle up. Okay, starting our tour here as I leave the illustrious Rodeo Drive. And of course, for you ladies watching, there is Christian Louboutin to my caddy corner left. Immediately to my left is Saint Laurent. Uh, this is, of course, the business district of the Beverly Hills Flats, and it is its southern border. We are at Little Santa Monica, and just through this light straight ahead is Santa Monica Boulevard. This is part of the value of living in the Beverly Hills Flats, where you have access to all of the world-class dining and shopping that one could dream of. So today we start our tour on the illustrious Cannon, which is one of the original streets of Beverly Hills, which was developed in the early 1900s. Rodeo Drive, as well as Crescent, were also original north-south streets. And I just have always loved the tree laden streets of the Beverly Hills Flats. But Cannon is the one everyone drives down and takes pictures for social media because of all of these towering and beautiful sky high palm trees. It really is the epitome of Beverly Hills. Just so beautiful this sunny day here. We are in the middle of winter and uh, it's gorgeous. Behind us is the business district. That is our southern border. And that is where everyone knows is downtown Beverly Hills, where you have the Montage Hotel, the Four Seasons, uh, where they, of course, shot um, Pretty Woman, the Peninsula Hotel, everything the heart could desire as far as luxury, shopping, dining, and parties. We are at this very famous six-way stop sign right now, which never ceases to make me nervous. That Lamborghini SUV just ignored the stop sign completely, which is why you guys can imagine why I'd be nervous. But anyway, we're approaching our northern border right now at Sunset Boulevard, and I'm gonna make a hard left here. So I'm just gonna turn the camera for a second there. You can see, of course, the Beverly Hills Hotel. And as the light turns green here, I'm gonna widen back out and we're gonna make a hard left. Sunset, as I was saying, is of course the northern border of the Beverly Hills Flats. Generally speaking, once you get north of Sunset, while people really consider it the heart of Beverly Hills, the houses get considerably larger. Uh, on the left-hand side here, which you can't see that well over the divider, is a house Donald Trump recently sold to his business partner. He didn't really use it much. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera just for a second here so you can kind of see we're really starting to get all these big new moderns now in Beverly Hills, which is not something that we're used to. Beverly Hills has been mostly traditionals and Spanish architectural styles. And as I was just talking about the beautiful trees of the flats of Beverly Hills, you are getting a sense of it now. I believe uh, these are maple trees. I'm really bad with naming them, but it's just such a wonderful feeling driving through the flats of Beverly Hills. Now, you know what the north-south borders are. The western border is, of course, the LA Country Club. And then the eastern border is Doheny. So it's about 40 or so east-west blocks. You are on the west side, neighboring to Bel Air and Holmby Hills. Holmby Hills, of course, is where the Playboy Mansion was, of course. To the east, we have West Hollywood. So just sandwiched between the areas that get closer to the beach cities and the Sunset Strip. So truly, while the center of luxury, it's also kind of the center of the city. It's just so beautiful driving around here, isn't it? Uh, this morning, I took a look at our market. By the way, I'm going to just look at that. Big modern. So continuing eastbound here, I love how you can see the white cap mountains in the distance. We're now pointed towards the eastern side of the flats. It's a, it's a little bit more quieter here as we get a little bit further away from downtown Beverly Hills, although not less desirable. Although typically the more north and the more west you go, the bigger and better they get. 
currently I'm going to make a left here and we're going to do a nice drive by of a listing that I currently have for 19.8 million on what some would call the best street in the Beverly Hills flats. That is Alpine named of course, after a tree. Wow. Busy day here. Lots of cars parked, which, you know, converse to Bel Air. It's a little bit busier here in the flats, but that is to be expected. And the house we're about to drive by, I can't see too much of it from the street, but it is kind of a petite palace of sorts, a European villa. It's over 10,000 square feet on half an acre. It's a really wonderful place and I'm sure it will be sold quickly. It's coming up here on the left. I took a look at the market this morning and what I saw was is that there were about 40 homes on the market. The average price per square was about $2,000 per square foot. Average house size on the market, about 9,000-ish square feet. You just drove by my listing. A wonderful, wonderful and rarefied offering. As I was saying about the market, average lot size was just under half an acre. So look, if you're looking for a ton of land and a ton of house, you know, you're going to be looking in Bel Air, but you know, the prices can really surge there. Whereas in Beverly Hills, things really generally tend to cap out in the mid twenties for the best of the best. As I was heading north here, we are yet again approaching, turning onto sunset. And you know, there's been some meaningful sales coming recently. One of which just happened on this street, Foothill, massive house and a massive lot for about $60 million, but north of Sunset, 837 Greenway, which is basically the western tip of the Beverly Hills Flats, was on just under an acre, sold for $32 million and change. We sold that one and I think was a record in the flat for the highest sale, certainly south of Sunset. But here we are back to more palm trees. North and south, the flats, it's not that large of a geographic area. You have the 500 block, basically, to the end of the 800 block to the 900s, which basically culminates, finishes, I should say, at sunset. So truly a wonderful and beautiful area. Back to the market update, teardowns as of right now, starting in the 5 million range with new houses topping out in the high 20s. But look at all these just beautiful wide streets, sidewalks, manicured trees, just such a wonderful, place to call home if you're lucky enough to do that. Some people would argue a bit of a privacy concern. As you can see, many of these homes, like the one we just drove by, the front door is on the street. So, you know, are easy to scale one of these, one of these uh, six foot gates if you really wanted to. But privacy and security is not something that we are selling in the flats. It's pedigree and location. There are only a few streets that run east-west between all of these curving tree laden north-south streets. One of which is Carmelita, which I'm on now. Another is Elevado. And those are also uh, the original streets from the 1900s. Beverly Hills has its own fire department and its own police department as well as schools. So you have the, the benefit of having those at your disposal by calling yourself a resident here. But I mean, look, as you could see from any site where I've been driving through for the last few minutes, you're a hop, skip and a jump from world-class hotels, shopping and dining. And just a short drive to Santa Monica, about 30 minute drive to Malibu, door to door, moments from the Soho house and everywhere else you'd like to play in the Hollywood Hills in the Sunset Strip. If you're thinking about buying or selling in Beverly Hills, in West Hollywood, Sunset Strip, Hollywood Hills, Santa Monica, Malibu, or anywhere in the greater Los Angeles area, use the links below to contact us. And for a little surprise, as we always do on this channel, I'm gonna show you the house that Justin Bieber just moved out of. We're just north of Sunset on a six house street called Tropical. He and Haley bought this house right after they got married for about eight and a half million dollars. It's 6,000 square feet. And this is it right here on the left. And straight ahead is the house that Jeff Bezos just bought for 165 million from David Geffen. So it is on the other side of those trees. I'm gonna turn around here and give you another, a better look at the this house that Bieber purchased. I happened to sell this house across the street for about $6 million four years ago. If you are enjoying this tour, I hope you'll like and subscribe. 
and check us out. It looks like they're doing some work here. I'm gonna try to give you another shot, but they just took a loss on this house, not that Bieber needs the money. That's it, right there. It's hard to see in. So a little bit of real estate royalty as usual. I'm gonna go back to selling real estate. Feel free to click on this other video tour above or the other video we posted, it's really good. We'll see you guys soon and thanks for tuning in to this neighborhood tour of the Beverly Hills Flats.